As I recall, this guy won't listen to reason and can only be persuaded with intimidation. But he does seem to follow rules to some extent. Speaking of regulations, we have our own laws and regulations too. According to Article 4 of the Cienjo Alliance IPC trade consensus, the Alliance and IPC shall never infringe on each other's intellectual property rights. The Alliance can sign a non-disclosure agreement with you. That way, you won't have to worry about any infringements, right? We can sign a mutually acceptable non-disclosure agreement in accordance with the IPC's rules. Well, uh, that makes sense, but how can we trust you to honor the terms? Even if we set aside the secrecy of intellectual property, these prototypes built by the Intelligentsia Guild are incredibly valuable, beyond your wildest imagination. If anything goes wrong, you won't be able to pay for it even with your lives. Can you give us an exact amount, Mr. Scott? If there's any damage after the inspection, the Express, uh, I mean, the Skyfaring Commission will compensate you. Skyfaring Commission. Yeah, they will compensate you, provided a detailed report of the damage is submitted. I don't doubt the financial strength of the Skyfaring Commission. However, this is not just about money. Besides, the cargo on this transport vessel belongs to the Intelligentsia Guild. If you want to inspect the cargo, shouldn't you at least call in a member of the Intelligentsia Guild to be present? Pretty tight with Dr. Ratio from the Intelligentsia Guild. Almost like family. Doesn't that make me practically a member of the Intelligentsia Guild too? What's all this nonsense? Even if you were married to him, you still couldn't represent the Intelligentsia Guild? We both need to follow the regulations, because that's how the IPC and the CNJO operate, right? As an IPC worker, I have to abide by its regulations. If I make an exception and allow you to inspect the cargo, it'll spell disaster for me.
Uh, huh? Uh, could you repeat that? I didn't quite hear you. Could you say it again? According to the principle of territoriality, since your vessel is stranded on the Sienjo, the Skyfaring Commission has the right to inspect it. Indeed. According to Article 27 of the Sienjo Legal Code, all official and private goods upon entering the port shall be subject to inspection. Failure to submit to such inspection shall be deemed equivalent to the possession of unlawful items and shall be subject to legal ramifications. Huh? My synesthesia beacon must not be working, because I have no idea what you just said. Simply put, if you insist on hindering the inspection, we'll have to treat the cargo as unlawful items and confiscate it. Confiscate it? How, how can you Sanjo people be so unreasonable? If this were pure point, and incoming cargo posed a safety risk, the IPC would take it in for containment and disposal, correct? Uh, th that's true. But the IPC sometimes makes exceptions. For example, they've always given special terms to Sea and Joe vessels. We both need to follow the regulations, because that's how the IPC and the Sea and Joe operate, right? As an IPC worker, I have to abide by its regulations. If I make an exception and allow you to inspect the cargo, it'll spell disaster for me. Everyone has their own set of rules. Now that you're on their turf, shouldn't you follow their rules too? Yeah, I get it. I know I'm on the Sienjo, but if I violate the IPC regulations, I'll be in deep trouble when I get back. <laughs> <laughs>